Bird and I'm back now. Bright party and I'm black now. Yeah. Black card is maxed out. I'm about to just black out. Yeah. I'm about to just black out. Yeah. Fans, be sure to visit the Lancers Merchandise booth to grab your Lancers gear. Additional merchandise available at rlancers.com and Top Notch Monogramming. And don't forget, the concession stand is also open. The Lancers are back in action right here next Sunday, the 27th, as the Lady Lancers play at 2 p.m., taking on Syracuse DA and your Lancers play at 5 p.m. against Syracuse FC. See you Sunday, June 27th, right here at Aquinas. Your attention, please, for your safety, please be alert as soccer balls may leave the field and enter the spectator area. The ushers and security staff on duty today have been asked to enforce the following rules and the Lancers ask for your cooperation. There will be no standing in the aisles of the stadium while the game is in progress. Smoking and vaping of any kind is prohibited. The use of obscene language and throwing of any objects onto the field and the entering of a field of play all Shot save, rebound, goal! Headed away, still a chance for Lancer, shot goal! today by Ray Tam and Andrew Kennedy. Today's fourth is Alexander Perrins. Please welcome today's ball crew. They are the Rochester Lancers Youth Academy. Yeah. 
And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for today's starting lineups. First, for the visitors, the Erie Commodores. They are led by their goalkeeper, number 23, Luis Ramirez. Defender number two, Ash Phillips. Defender number three, Tajay Reed. On attack number nine, Joe Knox. Midfielder number 15, Will Graham. Defender number 16, Duban Kanchila. Midfielder number 19, Austin Solomon. Defender number 25, Jack Emanuel. On attack number 27, Kian Lynch. And also on attack number 30, Hamza Morshid. The head coach of the Commodores is Dale White. He is assisted by Austin Solomon, and the manager is Lane King. Ladies and gentlemen, the Erie Commodore. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time, it is time for the starting lineup for your Rochester Lancers. They are led by their goalkeeper and captain, number 25, Brian Wilkin. Running up top, wearing number five, is Alex Vega. Defender number six, Jameson Riley. In the midfield, number seven, Harry Fuller. Also in the midfield, he is number ten. He is freaking Lucas Fernandez. Defender number 14, Alex Polly. Midfielder, number 17, Bruno Schieper. Defender and captain number 18, Brian Wanski. Up top, number 24, August Bing. In the midfield, number 28, Jordan Sullen. And on defense, another captain wearing number 42, Earthquake, Jake Schindler. The head coach of your Lancers is Doug Miller, and he is assisted by Jerry Longo. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2021 Rochester Lancers. And now, ladies and gentlemen, at this time, would you pretty please rise and remove your hats for the playing of our national anthem. Good afternoon and welcome to NPSL Soccer in Rochester, New York. This afternoon it's the Rochester Lancers playing host to the Erie Commodores. I'm Joe Giuliano giving Andrew Battisti the afternoon off as he has been calling a bunch of soccer games. So Andrew, we can, uh, we can let you have the day off today as the coin toss taking place at midfield. Lancers and Erie starting lineups first for the visitors from Erie, Ash Phillips. Tajay Reed, Joe Knox, Callum Ferguson, Will Graham, Devon Canchila, 
Austin Solomon, Luis Ramirez, Jack Emanuel, Kean Lynch, and Hamza Murshid. Erie comes in with a record of 0-4-1. Their head coach is Dell White. For the Rochester Lancers, they will go with Brian Wilkin in goal. They'll have Alex Vega, Jamison Riley, Harry Fuller, Lucas, free kick Fernandez, Alex Harling, Bruno, Brian Wolanski is the captain today, August Finn, Jordan Sullivan, and of course, the ever-present Jake the Snake Schindler. Doug Miller, head coach of the Rochester Lancers, who are one, three, and one. Teams will switch sides as the visitors in the white tops with the blue shorts and blue socks. Lancers in the honorary blue and gold striped tops with the blue shorts and gold socks. Lancers will be attacking from left to right. Referee today is Hao Zhang, assisted by Ray Tam, Andrew Kennedy, and Alexander Parent. It's the Lancers who are 1-3-1 and one against Erie who are 0-4-1. Previous results on June the 6th of this season. Rochester got their only win, 1-0 against the Commodores. Lancers looking to make something happen today and keep uh, some sort of hopes alive for season number two. It'll be Lucas Fernandez to do the honors. He gets loosened up right at midfield. Lancers going from left to right. Finn up there with Fuller as well on the top line for Rochester. Free checks his watch. We are back from the network break. And coverage now underway here, brought to you by Varsity Media. Here's the captain Wolanski back to Alex Harling. Spinning away, looking for help is Jamison Rally. Can't, and he has to go back to Harling. Here's Fuller. Schindler. High pressure immediately coming from Erie. Wilkin looking for Vega on the far side, and he'll just run out of space. Alex Vega, the 23-year-old from Panama. Quick restart taken there by Erie, and it'll be coming out on a Lancer's goal kick. Erie's last game, a 1-1 tie against Syracuse. Ashley Phillips had the goal for the Lancers. They lost 3-2 at Pittsburgh on June the 13th, or against Pittsburgh on June the 13th. Here's Harling off the quick goal kick. He'll take a touch forward. He's slammed off the ball, and the referee does not hesitate to make the call. It'll be a free kick coming up for Rochester in the second minute. Doug Miller with a huge list of familiar faces from the indoor and outdoor sides, 18 of them to be exact. This is chested by Ferguson. Nicely taken away by the Lancers. Fuller is played behind Finn. Now will poke forward. Murshid. Still Murshid into the 18. Still poking through, and it's just wide of the far post. Hamza Murshid found more space as he got closer to the goal, and the Lancers dodge a bullet there. Wilkin will go short. And will come out to Harling on the near side. Broken up by Emmanuel. Austin Solomon. Solomon has it again. He's been around for quite some time. He's been playing for the Commodores since 2008. Austin Solomon. The assistant coach at Mercyhurst University. Still playing as well. Graham switching over to the far side, looking for Kean Lynch. Gets there, tries to cut the corner, and Vega plays the position well. Pick up a throw in here for the Rochester Lancers. Lancers going with the wind here in half number one. Behind to Ash Phillips. 
And all the way back to Luis Ramirez. He's at Governor State University in Phoenix, the Colombian goalkeeper. His ball meets the head of Jake Schindler. Picked up again in Lynch. Crosses into the box. Wilkin steps up nicely to scoop it up for the Lancers for Brian Wilkin. Played four and a half games this year. Two and a half, or two goals against average. The Hilton High School standout. Excellent reflexes. And both the indoor and the outdoor game gets a long service forward. Fernandez to Finn. Emmanuel pressured. Canchila. Back to Emmanuel. Commodores looking to get out of their own half. Fuller takes it over for Rochester. The veteran Alex Harling, the 29 year old, finds August Finn. Still Finn, good bit of work for Fernandez off the chest and pounded away and out of bounds. Last touch by Ash Phillips, and this will give Rochester a corner kick. And this will be going into the wind as well. As well. Corner kick brought to you by Palmer's Direct to You Markets. Answers going to set up for a short corner. It's Fuller and Fernandez. They do take it. Fernandez swerving ball, top of the six, cleared away. Vega comes in to help out while Lanskin wins it back to Schindler. Good ball from Schindler to the outside flank. Now Finn, who's been shifting around, working on the outside. Good move, cuts it inside. Fernandez settles on the left foot, couldn't pull the trigger. And cleared away at the last second there by the Erie defense. Good pace to this one early on, as I'm sure we will have a, a water break, but a good energetic pace to start. This is Rally. A little too heavy on the touch and no trouble there for Ramirez. Checking back is Lynch. A miscommunication there, but it's finally scooped up by the Commodores. Good tackle there. Moransky came in strong and hard, wins the throw in, but Finn not ready for the quick restart. Here's the captain, Ash Phillips. Switching a ball into the Lancers box and Wilkin. Ooh, little nudge there and if it's nothing too serious, looks like it's his left leg that may have taken the knock. And we'll see here is a long ball coming in from Ash Phillips. And it's Joe Knox who comes in and looks like it's the left hip that took the brunt of that contact. As Wilkin is now slowly up and on his feet. It's a round of applause. Hopefully he'll be able to shake it off. He has been outstanding indoors and outdoors for Rochester. Schindler to do the honors. High delivery on the near side. A tough collision there for Fuller and Phillips off of the Erie defender throwing for the Lancers. Two games last night in the NPSL. As far as the Rust Belt Conference is concerned. Cleveland 2-0 win over Syracuse. They are now 5-0-1. And Pittsburgh Hotspurs also with a win 2-1 over FC Buffalo. Vega settles, looks for an option. Finds it in Sullivan. Now Fuller. 21 year old Englishman Fuller. Dances in, dances out, and he'll win another corner kick for the Lancers. Lancers quickly to Rally. Fuller. Good ball whistles through the box. And finally pounded away by Knox. 
Nice job by Schindler. Difficult ball to deal with out of the air, but wins it. Vega. Rally. This one gets into the box, but not enough space there. Well, answers to run on to is it's Luis Ramirez. He's quick to come off his line. Both keepers have been very aggressive coming to the top of the 18 to scoop up those loose balls this afternoon. Good, powerful header looking for Finn. Ramirez has to play this on his feet and does a very good job of it. We've seen some keepers who struggle with those kind of balls into the box, but now it's going to be Wilkins' turn. He does a good job as well. And quickly clears it away. Very important for the keepers to work on those foot skills. Solomon. Ferguson. Phillips keeps it in play. Drives a ball into the box and powerfully chested away by Jake Schindler. Nice step from Harling. It's Knox. Another good ball through the mix. It's a swerving ball from Colin Ferguson and a little too much there for Kean Lynch. So put an offering in on that. There's a look at it. Ferguson, good ball, and Lynch just not there in time to put it towards the Lancers' frame. Tenth minute and scoreless. Over the head of Finn. Played back to Ramirez. Drives a low, hard one, flipped on by Knox. Rashid. And it closed in, but Schindler was there to win it. And this one comes off the shin. With Colin Ferguson, Lancers will have a throw in on the near side. Alex Harling to do the honors. Harling, the 29 year old, his fifth appearance of the season. To Sullivan. Now Wolanski to Schindler under pressure. Gets it quickly away to Vega. Fernandez checking all the way back to receive it for Rochester. Starts the attack to Wolanski. Good ball. Fuller has a chance to settle and keep it in play. Quickly sends a high cross far side of the 18. Still a loose ball bouncing in the box. Brought down, shot blocked. Another shot blocked in by Finn. And it's Wolanski's shot who is deflected out of play. Corner kick coming up. Good bit of action for the Lancers. A dangerous bouncing ball inside the 18. You just never know where it's going to end up. And Rochester benefits here with a corner kick. It's Harry Fuller over to take it, the 21-year-old who plays at Cornell. All Ivy League player. They go short, knocked out of play. Fuller and Fernandez looking for the combination. Fuller comes over again to be the option. Fernandez takes a look. We'll see if he goes with it. Oh, he calls it off. No, nope, they play it again. A little trickery. Good hard battle. Play still in the eerie half of the or field. Fernandez off balance. Getting that one away and a hard challenge from behind as the Lancers call for the foul. Good pressure from Rochester. It was Ash Phillips who took the worst of that one. Syracuse will be in town next week. As the Lancers' next home opponent. While Erie 
will be at Syracuse on Friday night. Harley knocks it out of danger. Scooped up by the Lancers captain, Wolanski. Tries to go quickly on the long ball to get through to Finn, can't. And there is a player down. Looks like oh, they're gonna keep playing through. Will Graham was shaken up just a little bit, but he stays up and will continue with the action. Sullivan. Wolanski to Vega. Here's Harling. Poked away. Chance here now for Ferguson. Decides to lay up. Play it to Lynch. Graham. Knox gets the shot blocked. Lancers get a chance to counter attack. Sullivan can't get to it. There's Knox Morshid. And his touch leads it out of play and a goal kick coming up here for the Lancers. Looking at your standings in the Rust Belt Conference right now, it is Cleveland at 5-0-1. Pittsburgh right behind them at 5-1. And, and the Lancers are gonna have a situation here where Harry Fuller has some blood on his right arm. They're going to want to get looked at and taped up, and covered up. No exposure. Everyone else on the field there. So Lancers, at this point, playing a man down. This fuller is doing a quick tape job on that right elbow. Really trying to capitalize with the man advantage. And they're also making sure that blood stain comes out of the jersey as well. Schindler off the thigh, Wilkin, oh, that is, that is confidence. Inside the 18, plays it off the thigh, where Wilkin is able to use his hands and scoop it up. Harry Fuller back on the field, jersey clean, bloody elbow taped up. Finn, good ball, into the 18, it's Fuller, the shot and a goal! Fuller gets bandaged up in the 16th minute and comes back on to bury one for the Lancers, his first of the season. How's that for making a return to the field? He took it nice and calm. Just slotted it underneath the keeper's right arm. And he's given Rochester the one nothing lead in minute number 16. And it's August Finn with the setup. Beautiful composure. Found himself wide open. And for Finn, his first points of the season as well. One nothing Rochester, minute number 16. Fuller from Finn. Long ball on the far side looking for Lynch. Dribbles it out of play. And when Fuller came on the field, he kind of looked back at Lucas Fernandez as to say, are, are you going to go up here or do you want me to go up? And Fernandez just waved him on. Fuller kept pushing forward and found himself in a very opportunistic spot. Good bit of work there from the Lancers. Out of play. No one coming up here. Another look at the goal, no chance for the keeper and the time that Fuller had to set, set that one up with his right arm bandaged up. <laughs> 17th or 18th minute now. Lancers looking for their second win of the season. A win coming away at Erie. I'm trying to do the honors and the pleasure at home, but still a lot of soccer to be played. And it's a very tough, eerie team. There's Finn. Wolanski. 
been a hard challenge between Knox and Wolanski in the middle of the field. And it's Knox who goes down, I believe, holding his left wrist. Yep. And you could hear the scream from up here. Is it's Wolanski and Knox who collide right in the middle of the field. It looks like it's the shin or the leg of Wolanski that unintentionally collides with Knox who had slid down, lost his balance on the turf. And again, that was an immediate call for the trainer. As Joe Knox, who's getting looked at right now, the Gannon University product holding his left forearm. It's a round of applause from the fans. We'll see if he gets taped up and returns to action, or is he going to be the first substitute of the game? Hopefully nothing too serious for Mr. Knox. I'm going to talk him to from Dale White as well. The head coach. Keep you updated as to the status of Joe Knox. All right, brought back into play, Morshid. Solomon. Ferguson. Dribbles out of play. And it looks like Knox is not going to get bandaged up, but he is going to make his way back onto the field now. Hopefully he is okay, nothing too serious. Hopefully it's not the same result that the Lancers had with Fuller coming back out of the field and scoring 20 seconds later. But just that quick little change with Fernandez pushing Fuller up into the forward spot instead of this outside midfield or outside position may have just thrown off the Erie Commodore's defense and given Fuller all that time and space. Kicked out of bounds and throwing for Rochester on the far side. It's Bruno to take it. The Brazilian. And he'll win. Nope. Bruno wanted to throw it, but didn't get it back for Rochester on the far side. Answers in that honorary blue and gold kit. Rochester's first professional soccer club actually formed back in 67 as an expansion team into the, what that time was a semi-pro American Soccer League. As we talked about earlier, the Lancers name coming from Charlie Shiano's alma mater, the University of Windsor Lancers up in Ontario, Canada. A bit of history, really, for both of these clubs. Commodore's name as well. Alluding to some of the battles that were taking place at Erie's Presque Isle Bay. We'll talk about that as well. As here we are in the 22nd minute, and the Lancers with a 1-0 lead thanks to a 16th minute goal from Harry Fuller. Good ball headed into the box, and Wilkins scoops it up. Jay Reed with a good cross and a nice header from Ferguson. Scooped up and slid away there by Emmanuel. Graham. Lynch. Emmanuel has to be careful there. Two Lancers converging. Will Graham, the Texas Wesleyan University midfielder, spinning away from pressure. Nice job there. Look at Schindler pushing all the way up. Great anticipation from the wily KG veteran Jake Schindler. Graham, Tajay Reed. Has to switch it onto the near side. Over runs it. Taken back by Solomon. Morshid to Solomon. Still top of the box. Now pushed in, finally cleared away, but not far enough. And the one timer out of the air from Ash Phillips doesn't reach its intended target. A goal kick here for Rochester, but that ball sitting inside the Lancers 18. 
And Phillips, he wanted all of that and then some. A little too overexcited there and it's the Lancer slide. Solomon. Phillips. Graham. Outside for Keen Lynch. Dajay Reed overlapping. Bruno defending. Vega, another good defensive breakup. Vega has been good. The 23 year old Panamanian. Played at Roberts Wesleyan. Been solid and steady on that left side of defense. Wins another one. Schindler, his longtime defensive teammate, Alex Harling. The Wonder Kids, Schindler and Harling. Good ball. Oh, Fernandez, great idea on the touch, looking for Fuller. Tajay Reed. Rashid spinning away. Good ball for Knox, who's got space and time on the near side. Knox to his right foot, the swerving cross. Lynch heads it back into the mix. Rashid puts it in. And the Commodores have leveled the score in the 25th minute. Rashid with the goal on a good bit of transitional play from Erie. It's Murshid who'll get the goal. Lynch will get the assist off the header. Just that little bit of space for Murshid to get his foot on it. Unmarked inside the Lancer six to make it 1 1. 25th minute goal. Murshid from Lynch levels the score as the Commodores. Find one just past the midway point of half number one. Very risky having players wide open inside the six and for your keeper, that's a nightmare situation. Murshid wanted to call there and did get it. Well, it was a little late. Let's see how this changes the complexion of the game. Marshid plays at Gannon University, transferred from a college in Nancy, France. So the Frenchman has leveled the score here. Harling, good ball for Fernandez. Create some magic here, Lucas Fernandez. Driving one in, looking for Finn, but broken up by the Commodore's defense. Graham shakes from one, and again, trying this switching ball. They've done it quite a bit of times here in this first half. Solomon to Murshid. Foot race here, Murshid gets there. Harling is on him. Murshid keeps it in play. Still Murshid, the goal scorer. Plays it back to Phillips. Under the foot of Knox. Darling. Fernandez, good ball. Sullivan. Fuller, good job, gets away from Knox. Fuller, good ball, he can spring some Action here, and Fernandez just couldn't get over to that far side to Bruno. He was open. And three is going to call. What's the call here? Both players had their feet up in the air. Dangerous play. And that's what the Erie defender is trying to tell the referee. It's going to give Rochester the free kick. <laughs> the answers will take this one. That could have gone either way. And we will take our water break. 28th minute. Lancers and Erie in an entertaining first half are tied at one on the Lancers broadcast network.
right, everybody hydrated, ready to go to wrap up this first half hydration break. If you're just tuning in, I'm Joe Giuliano. This is Lancers Soccer on Varsity Media and the Lancers Broadcast Network. We are tied at one. Lancers with a goal from Fuller in the 16th minute. Erie coming back with one from Murshid in the 25th minute. As it'll be a restart for the Lancers just inside the Erie half of the field after the high kick, dangerous play called against the Commodores. Our side for Bruno. Bruno, the 25 year old midfielder, crafty with the left foot, darting forward, cutting back into the 18. Bruno, shot is up and over the goal. That's the crafty creativity that Bruno can bring from that left side of midfield. This is a good looking run. Works hard to get around one. Quick cut back, pushes into the space. And then a tough angle shot. Not what he wanted there, but a good setup from Bruno. There's Sullivan. Phillips breaks it up instead of Fuller getting in behind. There's Wolanski, the 26-year-old captain out of Cleveland, Ohio. It's broken up by Phillip for Knox. We look at the field level camera and the pace of this one has been good. And Knox a little too heavy on the touch. Coming out for a Lancers goal kick. Wilkin to do the honors. This Lancers goal kick brought to you by Total New rule change on goal kicks. Is they can play it inside the 18, but this time the Lancers elect to send it forward as Wilkin pushes the guys up and downfield. Oh, nice little flick. Sends it forward. And high up in the air, Fernandez battles for it. Graham comes away with that far side, looking for Lynch. And Vega, again, there. Throwing for Tajay Reed, the Canadian. Lindsey Wilson College. He's got time to look up. Serve one into the box, and open there was Colin Ferguson. He didn't need as much zip on the ball. As he was open and unmarked in that box. This communication there from Fuller and Fernandez, giving the Commodores a chance to come forward again. It's Ferguson on the hustle once again. Harling, good bit of work inside that tight space. Cleared, but not out of the danger zone just yet. Solomon. Fuller with a hard tackle. Solomon turns around. He didn't like it, but. I Fuller got a good piece of the ball. There's the restart coming up for the Commodores. These two teams played it tight earlier in the season. 1-0 Rochester win. And it's another tight one here in Western New York. Reed knocks the header. Crossed the goal mouth and no one there to pound it home. A dangerous, again, changing the run of play from one side to the other. And this is so close. Lancers dodge a bullet there. And Wilkin just could do nothing but watch. So Erie playing that shifting ball back and forth. Giving Rochester some trouble. Doug Miller's not going to waste any time. He is going to the bench. Murshid into the 18. Murshid on the left foot. The shot poked away by Wilkin. And out of play for a corner kick. Erie bringing it down late in this first half. 
And there is going to be a change coming up here for Rochester. Antonio Lagamba is coming on. He's going to get the last save there from Wilkin. And he is going to replace, let's see here, Wolanski, the captain coming off. Change here in the 35th minute. Lagamba, the Greece Athena product. Now coming on for Brian Wolanski. First change of the game for the Lancers. This is minute number 35. So Lagamba in. Wolanski out. Corner kick on the far side here in the 35th minute. There's the delivery, swerving away from the pressure. Still in the box and cleared away finally by the Lancers defense. Rashid. Again, that switching ball from one side to the other. Looking for Graham, but it's broken up by Bruno. Omega lost it to Lynch. Laid it off. And finally broken up by Schindler in the Lancers defense, sending it forward for Finn. August Finn. Immediately pressured, has to fade, fade it back and just drop it off there for Rally. There's Lagamba's first touch. It's a safe one to Vega. High pressure from Erie. Good ball. Finds Fernandez. Lancers can spring the counterattack with Fuller. Fuller looks. Delivers at the sixth. Great ball. What a finish. The danger zone and Fernandez and Fuller combine for a beautiful Lancers goal in the 36th minute. We talked about that earlier today in the women's broadcast. That ball from the flank played into the six. So dangerous as Fernandez gets his third goal of the year. Wonderful. Keeper does not know whether to come off his line or stay there. And it's a great quick counterattack from the Lancers. Fernandez is third goal of the year. Fuller has one goal and one assist so far in this one. And Lancers take the lead back in the 36th minute. Beautiful goal. Great soccer. And that is the beauty of this game, how things can change from one minute to the next. The flow of this game is up, down. It was eerie, starting to really put the pressure on, coming at the Lancers with a quick counterattack, and the Lancers capitalized to make it two to one. Let's see if they can hold on to this lead and bring it into the half. There's Lagamba, another chance to come forward. Finn is offside, he's got to hold his run here. Good job by Lagamba to recognize that. Finn was about five yards behind the Erie defense. And Lagamba had his head up, realized it. Good step here, Sullivan. Finn, then they're gonna call a foul. Is it Solomon who went down? The answers aren't happy with that call, and I agree wholeheartedly. And another call made here. Finn for the slide tackle. Look at the goal. Fuller took the touch and then he looked up to see what was coming forward. And Fernandez, that is not an easy finish. He's got a player all over him. And he's got to get to that ball first and then have the calm, cool touch to redirect it past Ramirez. Finn gets a long talking to from Hao Zhang, the official. Flags up for offside and Ash Phillips who came in with a powerful redirecting header. Wilkin will put it down. Safe and short. Harling. Schindler. Bruno. 
Oh, almost springing Sullivan through the defense. There's Knox. Solomon, nice job, leaves it. Lynch can take a touch. Drives the shot and it trickles through the crowd. It is 2-2 in the 40th minute. This is a wild one in Rochester. It's Lynch with the goal. And it is now 2-2 here as there was just a bunch of traffic in front. And the Lancers are also going to make a change while they have a chance here. And Jujne Vardar coming on and he's replacing Jordan Sullivan. This change in the 40th minute, 2-2. And Joel, if we could see that one more time. Kian Lynch, look at Solomon. Plays the dummy there, just draws the defender in enough to give Lynch that space to tee it up. And actually, I may, I may have to be corrected. I believe it was Colin Ferguson. It was Colin Ferguson, I believe, who got the last second tap on that one. But the Lancers with a chip, and it's just wide of the net. Vardar comes on and almost makes an immediate impact. We'll double check the replay if we could. I believe it was number 26, Colin Ferguson, who did get that one. But Vardar, who comes on just seconds ago, almost finds the back of the net in what is turning into a wild first half. Yeah, there's a scoring change. It was Ferguson who got the little touch off the shot from Lynch, but give Solomon credit too, again, for that dummy. Where he was just able to draw the Lancer defender out of position enough. And Vardar, flag comes up as he knew it was coming. Jujne Vardar. As we look at it again, Lynch tees it up. Yeah, Ferguson's in front, and you can see the ball did change direction the flight path was just altered by that quick little touch of colin ferguson and that is giving us a 2-2 score line here late in the first half entertaining stuff in rochester i'm sure if you're one of the coaches dale white or doug miller you're not happy with this wide open battle of goals. Rally. Oh, dumped, no call made. Rashid calls for a handball, Lancers don't get it. Vardar. Fernandez was looking for that one off of Vardar. And we are going to have a yellow card, and I believe it's going to go to Finn, who was already talked to once, and now looks like he is getting the yellow card as well. Is it Finn or Lagamba? We'll get confirmation for you. I think Lagamba kind of looked over and said, what? And the referee pointed over towards August Finn. A yellow card caution has been issued to the Lancers, number 27, Antonio Lagamba. I'm going to say Lagamba. Caution issued in the 43rd minute. It was Lagamba in the 43rd minute. There's Graham. Lagamba battles with him. Play back now for Emmanuel. He uses keeper, safe outlet in Ramirez. Graham. Ash Phillips has space on this side. Looking to get it forward. Wilkin comes off his line, and the referee is going to point to the spot. There was slight hesitation, but he finally made the point to the PK spot. And Wilkin called for the foul, taking down Colin Ferguson. Here's a look at it, folks. Wilkin is off his line. <sighs> Tough to tell. Tough to tell. That is such a close one. It'll be Ash Phillip to take it. Wilkins still pleading his case to no avail. Phillips 
Wines, fires. Saved by Wilkin, rebound, put home, but the flag is up and it's no goal. They're gonna call a violation, I believe, on the 18 yard line and they're gonna redo it. They're gonna redo the kick. Referee says no. Looks like players were too soon running into the box and boy, were they ever. So Phillips will catch a huge break here and get another chance to do it. There are four or five players who had rushed into the box before the kick was even taken. And it will be another redo. Does Phillips go to the same spot? Great save from Wilkin. What a break here for Erie to get the redo. Phillips steps in, the shot, goal. That's a tough one for the Lancers to take in the 45th minute. It's Phillips to make it three to two on the PK as he gets a second bite of the apple. And for Erie, that gives him the one goal lead late in the first half. This time he changes it up, goes to the keeper's left this time and drives it home. Make it three to two, and the Lancer's not happy with that redo call. What a half <laughs> this has been. Five goals. Phillips on the PK. And Erie trailing 2-1, now lead 3-2. Are we done yet? Rally. Looking for Vardar, broken up by Emmanuel. Lagamba. His pass intercepted and cleared away. Four minutes of stoppage time here in half number one. Four minutes. Out. Fireworks coming early here in Rochester. Five first half goals. Great action from a fan and commentator perspective. A nightmare for coaches, I'm sure. Bruno. Vega overlapping. He'll take a four way into the area half of the field, and Finn's not going to get there. Just a little off the mark and too much pace on that one. Here's Ramirez. He's in the NAIA out in Phoenix, the Colombian goalkeeper. Puts it down and drives it up the field. Vega. Rally. Fuller, one goal, one assist for Harry today. Rally. Finn. Pressure there. One hot Ramirez will scoop it up. Vega heads it to the wide open Bruno who can turn. Still Bruno. Jams him. Knocking into the Lancers half of the field. Fuller's open again on this near side. He looks, delivers a deflected ball at the near post. Scooped up there by Luis Ramirez. Well, if you're just tuning in, you have missed a ton of action here. Lancers took a 1 0 lead. Erie came back to tie it at one. Lancers took a two to one lead. And then two more goals from the Commodores have given them a late lead here in the first half. Oof. A little action there from Solomon and Bruno who got flipped. And the referee is going to call a couple players over and reach into his pocket. Yellow card and yellow card. Bruno and Solomon for that little tangle at midfield. It was Bruno who went flying up and over. Hard challenge there. Bruno comes in with a little swipe. 
Oof, and Solomon grabs him by the neck. That is easily, easily a red card. He is lucky to not receive a red card for that. Bruno came in a little hard with the challenge, but Solomon grabbing him up by the head and slamming him down to the turf. Count his blessings that he is not off for that tackle. And that's not a soccer tackle. That's a football tackle. There's Bruno. He came in. Solomon didn't like it. Oh, that's... that's I've seen red cards for less than that. Solomon very lucky. Now, add that to the bag of fun we've had here in this first half. Goals, cards, saves. It has been very eventful. And now they're going to call a foul on the Lancers coming back the other way. I believe it's Lucas Fernandez who is down now. He's holding his left ankle. It's a high ball delivered into the box as we look at it from Schindler. Lucas not even able to get up and challenge for that one as he collided with Jack Emanuel. And he immediately goes down holding his left leg and hopefully for the Lancers, this would be a enormous blow to a Rochester. Was issued to the Lancers number 17, Fernandez with Bruno three goals Schieber. on the year, still down on the, the turf. Oh boy, Lucas Fernandez looks like he is in pain. So it's the calf or the left ankle. Referee asking if they can get him off the field, and that will bring half number one to a close. As we have seen a little bit of everything today between Erie and Rochester. The score is 3-2 after 45 minutes of play, and for this Injury, it does not look good. Lucas Fernandez still down on the turf, being looked at by the trainer. And hopefully nothing too serious. We wish him his positive thoughts as we're on the field for Callista's halftime interview. As we'll also keep you updated on the situation with Lucas Fernandez, who looks to be in a good bit of pain. All right, we'll throw it down to Callista for our halftime festivities. The Lancers are back in action right here at Aquinas next Sunday as the Lady Lancers at 2 p.m. take on Syracuse DA. And the Lancers right out there in front of you play at 5 against Syracuse FC. We'll see you again next Sunday. Words with the official. Not happy with the... Yes, it's been called so far. Let's go to Calista. Here is Calista Cassidy with our halftime interview. I have to answer. Hey, Lancers fans. I'm live with Lancers TV, rlancers.com. I'm here with number seven, Harry Bowler. Harry, congratulations. You had the first game of the, the first goal of the game and your first goal of the season. Congratulations. Thank you very much. You're welcome. So what can we expect to see in the second half? It's been a really close game so far. Uh, I think going forward more of the same. Uh, where it's like, not wide. And this is like it's, uh, again, it's in the box. Uh, and, uh, yeah, more goals. Keep an eye on it. We got it. Maybe another goal. <laughs> <laughs> All right, before we go, well, we will see you in the second half. Good luck. All right, I'm here with... Jeremy Longo, our assistant coach. Jeremy, happy Father's Day, first of all. We have Alyssa here, your daughter. What have you been doing today? Did you have a good Father's Day? It's been great. We, uh, we started off with smoothies and then we had a little cake after. Uh, that's what we do on holidays. We make a cake uh, on Father's Day, 4th of July, something like that. So we're going to have a cake later. But for a good bike ride, and now we're uh, going to come back and we're going to What kind of cake are you going to make, Alyssa? Oh, my favorite! Well, thank you to everybody who's here celebrating Father's Day with us. Happy Father's Day to all of you dads out there. And we will see you in the second half, Jeremy. 
Good luck. Back to you guys. All right, Callista, great job as usual with the halftime interviews. 3-2 the score, Erie with the lead after 45 minutes of play. It has been a wild first half. We'll take a break, we'll get you all suited up and ready to go for second half action here on the Lancers Broadcast Network. As if you don't already have enough on your mind, I'm sure you don't want to worry about the stress of car shopping. That's why at Eyed Honda, we don't lure you in with a misleading low payment, only to disappoint you with bad news when you get here and have you find out that there's thousands of dollars hidden down in the fine print. At Eyed Honda, we're upfront right from the start, so your car buying process can be easy, honest, and even fun. So if you're in the market for a vehicle, come visit us at Eyed Honda. We'd love to earn your business. Hi, it's Elvis Duran. Thanks for listening. I think what makes our show unique is perspective. Many different voices, many different points of view. If you're going to say don't ask me, we're going to ask you. <laughs> if you want to. Wow. We're always fun. Oh, no. my God. Oh. It's so good. Because we like you. We're plugged in. It's kind of fantastic. Thanks for waking up with us. It's Elvis Duran and the Kiss Morning Show on Kiss 1067, Rochester's new hit music. If your child wants to play soccer at the next level, Soccer Sam is here to help. Soccer Sam's soccer stimulus support can financially assist families in need to help pay for soccer clubs or camps. Email your story to SoccerSam at SoccerSam.com for consideration. Don't let financial hardship deter soccer development. Tell us why you are a deserving candidate for the Soccer Sam soccer stimulus support. Email SoccerSam at SoccerSam.com today. Feel the kick. Do you know what makes Certified Angus Beef so special? Let me show you and tell you why. Certified Angus Beef is the result of thousands of hours of planning and breeding to make it the most flavorful beef there is. But don't be fooled when you see Angus Beef on a package, that does not mean it's Certified Angus Beef. Palmer's Direct to You Market, the perfect steak, amazing seafood, and people that truly care about you. Shot save, rebound, goal! 
headed away. Still a chance for Lancer. Shot to go! As if you don't already have enough on your mind, I'm sure you don't want to worry about the stress of car shopping. That's why at Eyed Honda, we don't lure you in with a misleading low payment, only to disappoint you with bad news when you get here and have you find out that there's thousands of dollars hidden down in the fine print. At Eyed Honda, we're upfront right from the start, so your car buying process can be easy, honest, and even fun. So if you're in the market for a vehicle, come visit us at Eyed Honda. We'd love to earn your business. Hi, it's Elvis Duran. Thanks for listening. I think what makes our show unique is perspective. Many different voices, many different points of view. If you're going to say don't ask me, we're going to ask you. <laughs> if you want to. Well. We're always fun. Oh. Oh my God. Oh. It's so good. Because we like you. We're plugged in. It's kind of fantastic. Thanks for waking up with us. It's Elvis Duran and the Kiss Morning Show on Kiss 1067. Rochester's new hit music. If your child wants to play soccer at the next level, Soccer Sam is here to help. Soccer Sam's soccer stimulus support can financially assist families in need to help pay for soccer clubs or camps. Email your story to SoccerSam at SoccerSam.com for consideration. Don't let financial hardship deter soccer development. Tell us why you are a deserving candidate for the Soccer Sam soccer stimulus support. Email SoccerSam at SoccerSam.com today. Feel the kick. Do you know what makes Certified Angus Beef so special? Let me show you and tell you why. Certified Angus Beef is the result of thousands of hours of planning and breeding to make it the most flavorful beef there is. But don't be fooled when you see Angus Beef on a package, that does not mean it's Certified Angus Beef. Palmer's Direct to You Market, the perfect steak, amazing seafood, and people that truly care about you. Oh, it's 
3-2 is the score after 45 minutes of play, and the festivity started in the 16th minute. And that'll give you your answer as far as one of the top players for the Lancers is concerned, Lucas Fernandez on the trainer's table with the ice on the left ankle. He is done for the day. Hopefully nothing long-term. As we look at your highlights from the first half and the goal scoring started in the 16th minute, Finn gets it to Fuller, calm and cool, just pokes it underneath the keeper's right arm to give Rochester the one nothing lead. That's after Fuller was off the field getting taped up for that bloody elbow. And in the 25th minute, it was the Commodores coming back and Murshid just left open in the box, enough to get a touch on it to make it 1-1 after 25 minutes of play. Lancers and Erie would go back and forth, and boy, was this an action-packed half. Minute number 36, it's gonna be Bruno. Look at this individual bit of work from him. Cuts it back, pushes back into the box. Tough angle there, gets it onto his preferred left foot, but unable to put it on frame. So we're still tied at one at this point here and then a restart coming into the box these have been a little troublesome today for rochester ball swerving from left to right and back from side to side this is tajay reed into the box and this one just whistles wide as it is the lancers who dodge a bullet there and here is the commodores attacking again with will graham and then putting it right up and down the middle it's Murshid, takes it onto his left foot, the shot, and a great save from Wilkin. Punches it away from danger. And giving a corner kick up to the Commodores. Lancers coming up in the 36th minute. This is Fernandez's third goal of the year. Fuller gets the assist, and he does a great job taking a look up to see who's making the runs. And where that ball is delivered at the six, crucial piece of that goal. And it was Fernandez from Fuller to make it 2-1 Rochester. Well, this is another goal coming up in the first half. It's Lynch given that time and space, and Ferguson, just the simple redirect, able to put it home in the 40th minute. And we are tied at two. And then the wheels really start falling off at this point. There's fouls, it gets sloppy, there's penalty kicks. As we're looking at uh, Bruno again, continuing with his fine play in the first half and it's Vardar who had just come out as a sub with a soft little chip it wasn't too far off the mark and then we move to the PK here in the 45th minute and here's the call it's the ball served in from Phillips and it's Knox I'm sorry check that it's Ferguson who's running in may have been some contact uh, referee says yep there was contact so he points to the spot and this is where it gets really tricky as the first PK, Phillips will run up and take it. Watch the number of players who are in the box before the ball is striked. And that was actually the second one. So this was his second bite of the apple. As in the first one, the referee called it back because of encroachment, too many players pushing into the box. And then it gets real sloppy. Solomon, great full body tackle here as the Pittsburgh Steelers looking for maybe some defensive help can pick him up. And that's a lucky, lucky, lucky to see a yellow card instead of a red card there. So that is <laughs> your action and antics from a wild first half here in Rochester. And as we mentioned, um, there is a big change going on for Rochester. Lucas Fernandez is out. He has got ice on the left ankle. He is done for the day. Rafa Godoy will be replacing him now in the start of the second half. Rafa Godoy, 26 years old, played three games this year. This will be his fourth appearance of the season. He brings also a ton of skill and, and energy to the game. So Rafa now in for Lucas Fernandez. We'll see if the pace and energy continues in this one. The Lancers come shooting out of the gate here. As it's Bruno. He'll take a one-timer that's high and out of play and into the backyards here at Aquinas. So a quick pace to this one already. As Doug Miller walked off the field with a few choice words for the official. In the middle is Hao Zhang. There's 
to the goal kick, up and flicked on. Lancer is attacking from right to left. Schindler's under pressure, quickly has to get away. His Knox is there. Here's Harley. Not too far on the touch for Finn. And driven out of bounds, throwing coming up here for the Lancers. See if Rochester can slow down what Erie has brought on to that late second half of our first half action. See if Rochester can slow that down, especially the transitional balls going from side to side. There's Lagamba to Vega. Bruno. Hospital ball, Lagamba, unable to get to it. Ferguson. Lynch, nice tackle from Vega. Alex Vega played his high school soccer right here in Rochester, Charles Finney High School. And Roberts Wesleyan now. And the referee. Gets in the way and gives possession back to Erie. This service is a high one and no trouble there for Brian Wilkin. There's Harling. Fuller. Finn. Flag is up for offside on Vardar. New right away. Gave the apologetic wave. Be a free kick coming up for Erie. Erie again home Friday night, or I'm sorry, away Friday night at Syracuse. Rochester home against Syracuse on Sunday, 5 p.m. Right here at Charlie Schiano Senior Field. Can't make it to the game? Check out the broadcast on Lancers TV, brought to you by Varsity Media. Well timed on the header from Lagamba. Rally's ball is out of play. Unforced on that giveaway there, giving the Commodores a throw in. Lagamba, Vardar, rubbed off the ball from Graham. His hammers went forward where Wilkin will get onto the end of it. Been such a wild first half that you almost just want to reset this one and say, hey, half number two, it's a new start. It's a different game now because that was absolutely intense on so many different levels. And Rafa, he'll come in late on a challenge and he'll get a, a little talking to as he walks his way back. Been a physical game. These two teams seem to be developing into a, a bit of a rivalry as previously Erie had a great rivalry with Detroit City FC until they left the MPSL for the NISA. And also there's the Erie County Derby, which pits Buffalo in Erie County, New York against Erie County in Pennsylvania. It looks like Rochester's Putting a, uh, a claim to the derbies. And there's going to be a yellow card for delay of game. This will go on to the books for number 16, Duvan Canchila. Go in the book in the 50th a minute. yellow card caution has been issued to Erie's number 16, Duvan Canchila. Caution issued in the 50th minute. Oh, a cheeky little touch there from Bruno. Finn back to Bruno. Oh, what a move from Bruno, splitting two defenders. Gets away still. And the last touch broken up by Graham. Orgamba. It's the referee, he'll stop the play. And this kind of sums up the day. Official has had a tough go of it. 
drops it, gives Rochester possession again, which they had already kept, but nonetheless makes the call and plays on. Into the box, Finn goes up for the header. Ramirez comes out and takes the Lancer player out, but nonetheless it was offside anyways. And Lancer's trainer Mike Conroy has been a busy man today. We'll see if he gets the call once again. There's Harling with that long, looping ball into the box. Finn was called offside and he gets crunched by Ramirez. Graham open now as Lynch on the near side. Tajay Reed. Good nudge from Rally. Shoulder clean challenge, Godoy. Rafa. Harry Fuller. Oh, that would have been a wonderful ball on the diagonal to Finn. Just inches away from springing August Finn. And now Murshid gets beat to the ball there by Harling. Dardar forces it back to Ramirez. And behind the play, they're going to call Fuller for a late foul. If we wanted to see if there was advantage. And no such luck as Fuller gets a talking to from the official. Here he will have the honors once again. There's Graham. Lynch. Murshid. Swerving. Shot off the post and in. It's Murshid's second of the game, and it's now. Four to two for Erie in the 54th minute. He got the benefit of the doubt off of that goal post. Rashid's second of the game. Lynch with the assist. That's his second helper for Erie, who now have a four to two lead. Just a good little spin move, top of the 18. Wilkin may have been slightly screened, and it just takes a bounce off that post. And Rashid. Gets his second of the game from Lynch to make it four to two. And they are celebrating here as they have scored the last three goals. Rochester at one point was up two to one. Erie goal, his second of the afternoon. Third of the season scored by number 30, Hamza Rashid. With the assist of number 27, Kean Lynch. It's Rashid from Lynch in the 54th minute. Played back to Ramirez, but a little heavy on the touch, and that is going to give Rochester a great opportunity on the corner kick. Frankie Siliberto coming on, number 13. He's going to replace Bruno. And this change coming right now. Siliberto on for Bruno in the 55th minute. Silberto will make his sixth appearance of the season. The Churchville Chile substitution for product. the Rochester Lancers entering the match. Bruno. Some flashes of great soccer from Bruno today. Bruno Schieffer. That substitution coming in the 55th minute. Rafa's driven ball into the box. Headed back towards his own goal. No foul there. Lancers go to the bench once again, but not until this counterattack is stopped if they can. It's Lynch. Lynch trying to spin around the Lancers defense. Harlan does a good job to break it up. So Austin Gerber is going to be coming on for Rochester. Another change for Doug Miller. Next to Jill. 
walking back and forth and just getting us all this great information. Looks like Gerber is going to be on for Finn at the next change. He has checked in. Finn is taken down. No call is made. There's Lagamba pressured by Reed. And a little too much there. Reed called for the foul. 4 2 the score. Commodores with three straight goals. Taking a 4 to 2 lead. This one, you get the feeling, is not over yet. Finn blast the shot blocked. What is that call? Finn comes off. Gerber comes on. And I don't know, Joel, can we see that one last shot? Fuller's ball into the box to Finn. It's a bouncing ball. I think he strikes the ball, but also just comes through the player, Canchila. And yeah, there was contact incidentally, but foul? I don't think so. <laughs> so Gerber comes on, Finn goes off. Gerber, the 27-year-old, one goal on the season. His fifth appearance for Rochester. Canchila will have to step off since he was looked at by the trainer. Popped up in the air. Finn right, takes the shot, and Canchila's just running through to block the shot. Okay. That freak sees that as a foul. He's closer to the uh, action than I am. Canchila is off. Restart coming up here for Erie. Four to two, 58th minute. And as I was just saying moments ago, you get the feeling the antics and the fireworks are just not done yet. This has been a very interesting day to say the least. One of the more unique games I've called in a long time. There's Vega. Looking for Gerber. Ferguson lifts on the shot. Harling avoids one. Lagamba. Rally. He's played behind Frankie Siliberto. Some of you might remember Frankie from the Lancers indoor season two years ago. Uh, that incredible bicycle kick goal back at the Dome Arena. One of the prettiest goals in Lancers indoor soccer. There's Marshid. Knox. Tripped up. And foul is called on Erie. Knox can't believe it. And they're going to call him for a yellow card, maybe for a little embellishment. <laughs> All right. Knox still cannot believe the call against him. It did look like there may have been contact. 60th minute. Joe Knox picks up the yellow card. 60th minute. That one looked more damaging than the Wilkin foul that was called a PK. Flicked <laughs> into the middle by Vardar, but no one there. Lancers not out of this one yet. Plenty of time in what has been a back and forth battle. One goal here, 30 minutes left. This could be buckle up and get ready for a wild finish. Ramirez taking his time. It's a long, booming kick downfield, headed away by Harling. Solomon, the risky little back pass. Able to keep possession though with Ramirez. His high cross to the near side. Siliberto gets taken down, no call made. 
He was getting up with a little bit of a limp as well. There's Vega. He's throwing one by Graham, who's been grinding and working hard in the middle of the field. Wilkins got to hurry, and he does. Gets a good ball back outside for Fuller. Big, good long switch for Frankie Siliberto. Frankie, top of the 18. Doesn't get all of it. Locked away by the Erie defense. And Frankie might get another chance. They'll shorten out of Vardar instead. Lancers asking a few questions here. Rally. Little chip pass. Doesn't get through the mix and it's scooped up by Ramirez in the 62nd minute. Rafa battling with Graham. Rafa comes away with the ball. And they're gonna call Rafa for the foul. My word. Rafa, I feel your pain, buddy. Two players, both. Where's the foul? Where? Uh, <clears throat> all right. All right. Graham can count himself fortunate. Free kick here for the Commodores. 4-2 lead, 63rd minute. <clears throat> Solomon will leave it. And they'll switch it onto the near side for Reed, who's been good today. They can take nothing away from the Commodores. They've been strong as well. And they all called. Tough to get a rhythm or a flow going in this second half as Been quite a few fouls both ways. All right, Schindler to Rafa to get us underway once again. Rally. Lynch he is tripped up by Rafa Godoy, and he will get a yellow card now. And I'm sure some of that is also because of the complaining earlier that Rafa felt was not a foul. To the Lancers number two, Rafa Godoy. Caution issued in the 64th. Yep. Clearly a foul there, Rafa stepping in late. Looks like Andre the Giant, Andre Demidev, will also be checking in for the Lancers. Number 16, he'll make his sixth appearance of the year. Good step from Schindler to Vardar. Blasted off the ball, no call made. Lynch. Cross is blocked. And it'll be a goal kick coming up for the Lancers. Two more changes coming in. Demidev coming on for Jamison Rally. And also coming on. Dan Rieger replacing Alex Harling. Two more changes here for Rieger. It'll be his fifth Two appearance of the season. Replacing Harling on the right 16, side of defense. And Demidev. Six, looks like he will play central back. And if I'm not Dan mistaken, Rieger. Schindler will push up a little Rieger. higher. We'll see how this all shapes up once we get back into the run of play. The restart from Wilkin, flicked on by Lagamba. Rieger gets the head on it, and Lagamba collides with two Erie players. Referee calling for the trainer as Lagamba got stomped on. Now he's going to hold off on the call. Now he's going to call for the trainer. Collision there, yeah, got stepped on. 
Let's see, it was the back of his leg, and now for Lagamba, he's going to have to come off the field because the trainer was called on. <laughs> and now he comes back on the field. This has been a roller coaster ride, to say the least. Nemedev called for the foul, going up a little bit too high on Kanchila. 67th minute in what's been a sluggish second half compared to the wild ride of the first half. <coughs> Solomon onto the near side for Tajay Reed. It's a bad giveaway. Vardar. Gerber wanted it ahead of him, got it behind, and it's the Commodores who come away with it. Nice touch by Burchie, throw it here for the Lancers. Well, it was a squeaker on June the 6th, Rochester winning 1-0 at Erie. It has been completely different here today. Six goals through 68 minutes of play. Silberto. Tajay Reed. Silberto comes up with the ball. Still Silberto takes the shot from distance. Never going to trouble the keeper from there. Did a good job, pressured, forcing the turnover. And then maybe a little more distance to take this in and look at a better possibility. He shot it from way out. Frisbees coming direct to you by Palmer's direct to you market. Shout out for a t-shirt brought to you by the Good work though from Silberto to even create that opportunity. T-shirts, you gotta make some noise. Okay. With the wind at his back. Schindler. Ball taken away by Graham. Rashid, he's been all over the field today. Switches it to the far side. This one. Continue to play in the 69th minute. No one there for the offside call. Demidev has taken over as a central defender. Vega to his left, Rieger to his right, and Schindler definitely has pushed up into the central midfield, just ahead of the defensive line. taken down early and he is still slow to get up gets a little help and looks like another change is coming up as Ashley Phillips is coming off number 11 Caleb Ferguson replacing number 2 Ash Phillips number 11 Caleb Ferguson replacing Ash Phillips there's Colin Ferguson and now Caleb Ferguson has come on and he'll take his spot on the left side of defense. Some fresh defensive legs for the visitors. They're going to look to hold on to this 4-2 lead and maybe even try to add to it. Fuller, good long ball. Vardar. Good skill, the good touch, but now he needs some help. And it came late. And Vardar off the football goal posts. And goal kick coming up here for Erie. Looking at your standings in the Rust Belt, it's Cleveland 5-0-1. 
we have got 16 points right behind them with 15 points. Pittsburgh Hotspurs. Buffalo with a chance last night, but they fell to Pittsburgh 2-1. to one. They have seven points. Rochester with four points, and Syracuse with two. Erie at the bottom of the table with one point, but with this win, you can get level at four points with Rochester. And this one's getting chippy. Nemedev and Gerber coming in hard with Will Graham. Let's keep our eyes on this final stretch. These two teams are quickly developing into a heated rival. Demidev called for the foul on the back of Lynch. And we will take our water break now. As <laughs> it's Rochester trailing four to two. We'll take a quick break and come back with second half action. Break is over. We're in the 74th minute. Erie with a 4 2 lead over the Lancers. And it was a million miles an hour in the first half, and it has come to a complete standstill crawl here in the second half. Just very choppy. Neither, neither team unable to get any flow going. A lot of fouls as we come down the home stretch here. Lancers down by two, looking to have some late game heroics. Steps it into the box. Looking for Jack Emanuel. Cannot keep that in play. Goal kick coming up for the Lancers. Lancers making several changes here. Putting on Rafa Godoy, Dan Rieger, Vardar, Silberto, Gerber, Demidev, Lagamba. So Rochester up 2 to 1 at one point. And then like that, three very goals. Two. Fuller, good ball. Gerber tries the turn and is jammed inside the six. Can't get the shot away. Punt from Ramirez off the top of Demidev and headed back calm and cool to Wilkin from Alex Vega. First ball pounded away by Ramirez. 
76th minute. Over the head of Demidev. Rieger's there to help out. Schindler pushes it forward once again. On the previous Erie Commodores substitution. Lynch. Wearing the number 11 jersey is Lewis White. Ian Lynch, the Lewis shot, White and it just trickles jersey. off the arm of Brian Wilkin. Just a split second there, and it's five to two. Look at Lynch coming in, weaving through the Lancers' defense, and Wilkin makes a good save and pleading with his defenders for just a bit more help. And Erie in no hurry at all to take this corner kick. Two goal lead, 77 minutes in. Will Graham over to take it. This corner kick brought to you by Pepsi. There's Graham stepping in, top of the 18. Loaded back into the box, cleared away by the Lancers. Graham gets around Lagamba. Header, great save from Wilkin. Another huge save from Wilkin to keep this one close. Easily could have been the sixth of the day, but Wilkin in back-to-back -back opportunities, denying the Commodores. Mershid. That's the Schindler. Vardar. Godoy. Schindler. Lagamba. Nice ball for Silberto. And a foul call just outside the box for Frankie Silberto. And there's going to be a card issue to Tajay Reed. Here's a look at the last save here from Wilkin. Dashes across, just punches away. And it's cleared away by Andre Demidev. Now, this is where a Lucas Fernandez free kick specialist would come in handy. Rafa Godoy is going to step up and do the honors. This is a dangerous spot. Two in the wall for Erie. the whistle. Rafa steps in. Swerving shot. Right at the keeper and no traffic in front to distract Luis Ramirez. Or someone for a little redirect into one of the corners. Rieger called for the foul. That's a good ball. Just going to get bodies in front. Theory is going to go to the bench momentarily. And this has been the tale of two halves for sure. Back and forth. The Wild West in the first half and now calm and cool, slow second half in the 80th minute. Good throw in for Gerber. Okay. Come back and I'm not sure if there are two balls on the field, but something the official didn't care for. Why did we do it? Demi Dev. Vega. Gamba gets a hard, hard tackle in the shin from Will Graham. 
and he gets a yellow card. Let's look at that one here. We got a piece of him and then some. You see Lagamba up and okay. A yellow card caution has been issued to Erie's number 15, Will Graham. Caution to the service that's into the box, high, far side of the field. Kept in play, Fuller. One hop and no one there for the Lancers. No one in front of the keeper to make it difficult. And the last two balls played into the box. Quick counterattack opportunity coming up now. Commodores, Key and Lynch. Rashid. Colin Ferguson. 4-2 lead, they can afford to lay up and regroup and rebuild their attack as they eat away at the clock. Lancers have to hurry here to make something happen. 82nd minute, down by two. Wilkin, two huge saves here in the second half to keep Rochester just within touching distance. Time running out on the Lancers. Dangerous ball, Gerber almost got to it. Get the defense there to come. Keep order. Pounded away by Emmanuel. Way back to Wilkin. Lancers looking for ideas here. And not that way. Don't call them the Lancers. Another change coming up here for Erie. Number seven. Nardine Arsharid will be coming on along with number 28, Andy Latour. The next stoppage. And there's two substitutions for the visiting side. Well, Fuller can turn, look at the space. Here he's just content sitting back with five players. Gerber into the 18, deflected, Shadow is cleared off the line by Tajay Reed. Great defending to come in and help out the goalkeeper. Tajay Reed keeps this a two goal game. Tajay Reed, who just saved the goal, comes off. And Nardine Arsharid comes on. And they're also going to be taking off. We're bringing on Andy Latour. We'll let you know who he comes on for. Substitution from the Erie Commodores entering the match. Look at that last chance. Gerber got the shot away. It's deflected. That's on its way into the net, and Tajay Reed, wonderful job coming back to help out defensively. Replacing number three, Tajay Reed. Arsha Reed. Bombing one across, no one on the end of it for Erie. Fuller does the little loop de do pushes it one way, goes the other. Gets around Graham. Solomon breaks up his pass. Fifth minute. It's White coming away with it for Erie. It's over the head of Gerber. Now Graham. Rashid. Demidev tracking him down along with Schindler. Rashid avoids one, serves one into the box, and Lynch able to get on the end of that one as Wilkin quickly pounces on it. This punt picked up on the back line by the Commodores. Arsharid 
This one gets through. Ferguson. He wanted to dribble out of bounds and maybe eat away at the clock there in the 86th minute. And this will bring on Andy Latour. Substitution for the Erie Commodores entering the match number 28, Andy Latour. Replacing number, number nine, nine, Joe, Joe Knox. Knox. Substitution in the Knox off. Tore on minutes. in minute number 86. It's Cotton Eye Joe time, brought to you by Marathon Energy. You ever want to be a member of the Lands of Dancers? Here's your chance. Time to stand out from the Enjoy University Cotton product. Do a bit of hard work today, grinding himself up top. Touch to himself, Lynch. Rush here, Lynch, the shot, deflected, and it finds the back of the net. Demidev came over to help defensively. It deflected off the bottom of his boot, and Erie has a 5 to 2 lead. It's Lynch with the goal. He's got a goal and an assist today. Give him credit, made a nice move even before he get to this point, put it off the thigh, ran onto it. And Demidev's got to commit, and unfortunately for him, takes a little skim off the bottom of his boot. And Kean Lynch has put the nail in the coffin here. And it is now 5-2. to two. Declan Bingham is coming on. For Erie, number 22. Places. Austin Solomon placing, coming off for Declan Bingham. 5 2 in the 88th minute. Here he goes, scored by number Gerber 27. coming from an offside position. Keen Lynch. It's Lynch on the see that one in play. Erie substitution entering the match. Lynch has had, I'm sorry, one goal, two Declan assists Bingham. today. Replacing that is a good 19. bit of work for Kean Lynch. The Savannah Austin College Sullivan. product from Ireland. Substitution in 88. One goal, two assists for Lynch today. I stand corrected. I thought it was one and one. 89th minute. Fans, as a reminder, I want to let you know to stick around immediately following the final whistle for our post-game interview and a very special announcement from Soccer Sam. All there and not going to get through. Ramirez will take his time, scoop it up, 89th minute. Evan Butler will be coming on now. Just to eat away and run the clock down in this 5-2 Erie lead. Hard to keep this one in play is Colin Ferguson. Bingham with a heavy touch. Evan Butler coming on here in the 90th minute. As a reminder, the clock will stop at the 90 minute mark. Stoppage time to be kept on the field. Let's see who Butler comes on for. Looks like it's going to be Kean Lynch who comes off. On the near side, Butler on, Lynch off. Lynch, one goal, two assists today. A hearty bit of work for him. Archery. Substitution for the Erie Commodores. Entering the match is number 14, Evan Butler, replacing number 26. Well, you wondered if that first half pace could continue for 90 minutes, and the answer to that question is no. It was... A very fun, action-packed 45 minutes, and then the second half has been segmented, choppy, fouls, cards. Really, neither side able to get any flow going. There's Rafa triple team, nowhere to go. He had Schindler open, but nothing to keep possession.
side looking for Fuller. Chip to himself into the box. He was looking for Gerber. Six minutes of stoppage time. Wow. Six minutes of stoppage time. A lot of substitutions. A couple of goals in the second half as well. Rieger. Demidev. Broken up by the Commodores. Lynch. Sorry, it wasn't Lynch who came off, it was Colin Ferguson. Lynch is still wreaking havoc on that far side. Acrobatic touch there. Preventing that one from getting into the eerie half of the field. Schindler. Now Vega. I don't know if six minutes is enough for Rochester to get three and get this level, but maybe one. Push for two here. Get some sort of confidence out of this one. Latore. Rashid. Rieger clears. It's Commodores now just eating away at the clock, keeping possession. Latore trying to come in the box, broken up by Rieger. Silberto. Long ball forward. Here he has read this book. Answer is going to have to come up with some different creativity. His area has been up to the challenge on those long balls. On the near side, Archerid. Good quick header to Bingham. Butler. It's the Commodore is now finding space, eating away at the clock. And they have a corner kick. This corner kick brought to you by Village of Hope. And Butler over to take it. Again, no urgency at all. Three goal lead and in this huge chunk of six minute stoppage time. We'll just play it short. Lynch will take his knocks in the corner. He's knocked off the ball. A high clearance, but not far. Bingham and Godoy battle for it. They can call for the foul. Well, oh, third issue to Butler. A little contact behind the play. A yellow card caution has been issued to injuries number 14, Evan Butler. Caution and stoppage time. Graham. Waiting for that final whistle. They get their first win of the season. To go along with four losses and one tie. Rochester would have the identical record, one, four, and one after this one. Graham, Sharid, Butler. Blocked by Vega. And back to the foot of Butler. Bingham. And Fuller. Take a trot towards midfield. Hooked away by Latore, out of bounds, throwing for Rochester. Rafa. It's around one. Obstructed on the second one, can't get through. Rafa still down. Vega. 
and this one was out of play, so hopefully Rafa can get some assistance because he's still down on the turf. We'll see if it's, looks like it's a leg injury, maybe just a cramp, hopefully. Referee coming over to take a look at Rafa Godoy. Gets up and hobbles away. And Rafa with his thoughts for the official. And that will thankfully bring the second half to a close because it was completely different than we saw in half number one. Very interesting dynamic to this one today as the Lancers fall 5-2 to the Commodores. And wow, there was four straight goals from the 40th minute on giving Erie a 5-2 win. Here to go now to 1-4-1 and, and the Lancers also at the 1-4-1 and one mark. First move of the season for Erie. Let's go to Soccer and Sam. Now he'll have a special announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, we send it to Soccer Sam. Thank you, Rocky. Soccer fans, before you leave, I gotta say a quick few things. Next Sunday, we're gonna honor the original Lancer, Charlie Shano and Joe Siriani. A lot of you that are here grew up during that era. They won the championship in 1970, and they were missing one little thing. So we're gonna honor them with that special little thing next Sunday, so if you can, be here, please. Also next Sunday, it'll be Jake Schindler's 130th game as an outdoor lancer. A few of you have mentioned some things to me tonight here, and I just gotta tell you, we're gonna keep it on, on the lowdown. It's between us. But next, next Sunday, Sunday is my, my last game as uh, a Lancer, Lancer owner. What? So we are going to, next Sunday, I want everyone here, we're going to have a great time. These players have worked so hard over the years to represent what the original Lancers gave us back from 1970 to 1980. The Lancers worked hard. Lancer Louie, the whole staff worked hard, but the landscape of Rochester outdoor soccer is changing. And we have decided to go with the group that I think is gonna bring it to the next level to give the players the opportunity they deserve, the, the coaches the opportunity they deserve. And we are gonna go with uh, the Flower City Union, which is affiliated with St. John Fisher. They are gonna take over our outdoor teams and bring it to the next level. So next Sunday is a huge game for me, for these guys, guys that work so hard, for the coaching, coaching staff. staff. So, so I hope everyone comes. Tell, tell your family and friends, and, friends, and let's give these guys a, a nice farewell. And uh, let's yeah, thank you. This young lady here, Kayla Clark Kent, has been working pretty much alone on the business side. Doug Miller has been working pretty much alone on the soccer side. We're gonna let a whole group of people with a whole college behind them bring soccer, outdoor, outdoor soccer, soccer back, back to where it belongs and make, make, make Rochester, Rochester Outdoor Soccer, soccer great again. again. So, so thank, thank you so much. much. I hope to see you here next Sunday at Aquinas. Thank you, have a great Father's Day to all the dads and soccer dads out there and to obviously our soccer dads here on the pitch. Thank you so much. Losses over the years for the Lancers, championships, no championships, whatever you wanna say. Thank you to Soccer Sam. What a wonderful ambassador to the game. What a wonderful friend. What a kind human being he is. Without him, this lifeline of soccer that he's given to our community doesn't happen. Soccer may have been gone. Dead, totally gone. So thank you to Soccer Sam for everything over the years, whether it was with the Rhinos or the rebirth of the Lancers. Uh, so much, so many people, including myself, owe oh, so much to Soccer Sam for just keeping soccer alive uh, in this city. A wonderful man, and a thank you, it just doesn't seem like enough. But Soccer Sam, from the bottom of my heart and from the bottom of every soccer person's heart in Rochester, thank you so much. And on that note,
we will wrap up today's broadcast. Hope you've enjoyed our coverage of Lancers Soccer, brought to you by Varsity Media. I'm Joe Giuliano saying so long from Rochester. You got my heart in a spin. I give over every part of me that I'm never gonna let you go. No, baby. As if you don't already have enough on your mind, I'm sure you don't want to worry about the stress of car shopping. That's why at Eyed Honda, we don't lure you in with a misleading low payment, only to disappoint you with bad news when you get here and have you find out that there's thousands of dollars hidden down in the fine print. At Eyed Honda, we're upfront right from the start, so your car buying process can be easy, honest, and even fun. So if you're in the market for a vehicle, come visit us at Eyed Honda. We'd love